What's up everyone? Derek here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install ditch lights. Um, I bought these from GG Lighting. If you bought two of their lights, it came with this really sweet harness. Um, the harness has a switch and a relay and connections that plug directly into the lights. Basically, you would just have to hook it up to your battery, mount your relay, plug it in, mount your switch somewhere inside, and you're good to go. Uh, because I, I have a Raptor, it came with aux, uh, auxiliary switches, so I'm only going to use part of the harness. And I will show you what I do there. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to mount these up and how to wire the lights up inside uh, this wiring could be for anything that you want to run power to um, to the to the switches so if you've got a, a light bar or other lights that you want to do um, we'll we'll go through all of that guys like i said i'm doing the gg lighting uh lights on my truck um, I'm going to mount them up here by the A-pillars. Uh, I've got a video on how to install those as well if you want to check that out. Uh, the install for lights is going to be pretty similar across the board regardless of what brand you use. Um, first thing we're going to do is get our, our bracket. And it comes with this rubber insulator. Uh, carriage bolt it's going to go on top and then underneath will be a washer and then this nylock nut <clears throat> and to do it I'm just going to hold my nut and washer underneath the bracket like this and then get this carriage bolt started. <clears throat> the carriage bolt, if you noticed, has a square head on it. And so that will hold it in place on the bracket. Then I'll use my ratcheting wrench. If you just push down on the bolt, it shouldn't spin on you. And I'm just going to snug these down for now. I want to adjust them after everything's hooked up. And so we'll get it snug. And then after we adjust them to where I want them to face, I'll come back and I'll tighten everything in. The next thing we're going to do on these lights is mount them to the bracket now. There is, if you look on the bracket here, you can see this hole is kind of slotted front to back and this one's slotted up and down uh, so we can adjust its angle. And if you look on the side of the light here, I've got two bolt holes obviously. One's going to be bigger and a smaller one. You're going to set your hardware up like this. Bolt, lock washer, and then flat washer. And on this, there's a little plastic spacer. So the kit also comes with these little spacers. Um, the larger hole goes towards the front. So we'll set our light in. Slide that spacer in and get our bolt started on this side. And we'll do the same on the other side. And there you go. So, like I said, bolt, lock washer, flat washer, the bracket, that plastic spacer, 
and then the light. Do the same thing on the other side. This kit actually came with the Allen wrenches necessary for these bolts, which is really cool. Um, I might even toss a set in the truck just in case I need to adjust them while I'm out and about. So same thing with these. We're just going to snug them down for now so I can adjust them later. Next thing we're going to do is pop the hood and get our harness ran. So to use the harness that came with the kit in my truck, I just cut this end off right after the relay because uh, these are the connectors for the lights. And if you look, one of these is shorter than the other one. So we're going to put the shorter end on the passenger side. That is where the connections for our switch is at. So to connect them, obviously you just push it into the back. I looped it up under here first. Then I'm going to take the rest of my harness. And I'm going to run it. Behind the shock, just kind of get it sitting in place loosely. Run it over to the other side. Do the same thing inside of your shock. Up behind the hood and plug it in. Make sure you have a bag of Cable ties, I call them zip ties. But I'm just gonna start on this side. I'm going to tie the harness to my light mount bracket first. Um, you don't wanna pull the, the wires really tight on the back side. Just you know, leave a little bit of, of uh, slack up there. But you don't need a whole lot. Just to show you how I ran the bracket, like I said, plug it in, run it up through underneath the hood here, tie it off to the mount bracket, put a tie down here, ran it above my brake booster, got it up into that hole there. Ran it all the way through that piece of plastic out this side. Took the other connector, ran that the same up to my light in the back, tie on here. We're going to take all this kind of extra wiring because this was a, a pre-made harness. Um, and we're just going to tie that up here out of the way. Try to make it look nice. And then we will work on wiring it to the truck itself. Okay guys, I got my harness ran the rest of the way. Um, next thing we're gonna do is hook up to our aux switches. Uh, the first thing we have to do for that is these four wires that are sticking out of this harness. There's a green, red, purple and a blue. We're just going to pick one of them to use. It doesn't matter which one. Because we will connect it to the switch in the cab next. So I'm just going to use the blue one. 
and I'm going to solder these, uh, the power wire, and our ground wire is going to go right there on that stud. Uh, that's a ground stud. So it'll work perfectly for us. In order to do that, we're just going to take this ring terminal and crimp it on there. So the first thing we're going to do is trim the end of this blue wire. I'm just going to cut it up right behind that heat shrink they've got there. And then you're going to strip it about half inch. And now our harness for our lights, it will run. I'll give us a little bit of extra slack, but cut the end off of this. And peel back this protective covering a little bit. And then we'll strip our red wire, red for power. About a half inch on that one as well. Now on the other side of this, first thing we're gonna do is take a little piece of heat shrink that's a little bit bigger than our wire. Slide that over, take our two ends, and we're going to twist them together. After they are twisted together, take our soldering iron and our solder, and we're just going to put a little dab on the iron. Hold it underneath the bare part of the wire. And hold your solder on top. And once the wires get hot enough, it'll start pulling solder into them. Just f keep feeding a little bit in. So there you can see it got warm enough. The solder is getting sucked into the wire. And pull your solder away, pull your iron away. And that's all done. We'll let that cool off a little bit. There's a little better view of it. Next, we're just going to pull our heat shrink over top. Try to get the solder in about the middle. And then take a lighter or a heat gun, uh, small and little butane torches. Heat up the heat shrink. Heat gun works the best. Kind of pinch it down, make sure it's sealed up. Now you could butt connect these if you wanted to. Um, I would still use heat shrink. There are some new like solder butt connectors that I want to try. I just haven't gotten any yet. <clears throat> okay, our power wires all ran. Uh, I want to keep this covering on as much of the harness as I can. So I just cut a little slit in the 
sleeving. Found my ground wire here. Pull it through. And obviously shorten that up. And strip it. Give it a twist and run your ring terminal over it. And crimp it down. So then I'll just take a little bit of electrical tape and go over that hole I made. And then we just gotta take that 10 millimeter nut off and mount it there. Next thing we're gonna do, open your passenger side door. You're gonna come over this little panel. Stick your fingers in there and pull that off. Take everything out of your glove box. And then you're gonna just pull in on these tabs on each side and let your box fall. All right, it's kind of hard to see, but on that pink harness, there's these wire ends, kind of like what we saw underneath the hood. We are gonna find our blue one, which is there. And we're gonna attach it to another wire. So the blue one is called a pass-through wire. And that just goes from here to the other end where we connected our harness to. And now we need to pick one of the wires that comes from the switch and connect it to that blue wire to complete the circuit. I am gonna put in the description below which wires go to which switch. <clears throat> uh, the switches have different amperages on them, so you want to make sure you use the right switch depending on how much amps your light or whatever you're using is pulling. So I want to use the yellow wire with the blue wire. Those two right there. Yellow is for my switch number one. It's a 30 amp switch and it, I believe it's fuse 18. Uh, like I said, I'll put all that in the description below. So basically, I'm going to try to pull these wires out and connect them together. And I'm just going to use a buck connector. It's inside, so I'm not worried about it. Um, about the weather getting to it. And causing any ground issues or stuff getting wet and corroded. So I'm going to connect those and I'll bring you back when I'm done. All right, guys, I finally got it. That yellow buck connector there. That was a pain in the butt. <clears throat> but I got it. What I did is I took and cut off the end here, the heat shrink part. Then I used a pick up here and pulled the two wires out so I had a little bit more room to cut them or to strip them and connect them together <clears throat> uh, much easier way to do it and I know some people have is to use one of these it's called a scotch lock uh, just leave that um, heat shrink end on it put both your wires inside there you pinch this down with a uh, needle nose pliers fold this over it'll work just as good and be a thousand times easier that's what I'm going to use when I do my chase light <clears throat> well guys there you go got them all wired up and they work these things are bright it is day basically still and you can see them obviously it's crappy cloudy rainy like it seems like it always is here in Iowa now but my headlights and those lights are on you can't even tell my headlights are on but these things are awesome. Can't wait to try them out. Some snow, some dust. See how they really do. So, thanks everybody for 
watching the video, go ahead and hit the like button for me. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. I really hope this helped you out. It makes working on stuff a little less scary. I'll put tools in the description below. Uh, I can put a link to the lights I got as well. If they last a long time, I'm, I'm going to be very happy with them. They're a fraction of what a lot of the big names are. And uh, they've been proven in the desert during races. So um, I'm expecting them to last me a long time. Um, I will also put the wire colors and amperages for those different switches in the description so you guys have all that. Again, thanks for watching. I hope you take a minute out of your day to do some maintenance.